G'day little fellas. I have a friend you might like to meet. Tonight's mission is to throw some stain on the cabinet um, and maybe chuck some rocks in, start making the tank look good. I'm using a different camera tonight, using my Sony a7 III, which I use for a lot of landscape and wildlife photography that I enjoy doing. Go and check out my Instagram account if you want, Jared Scott Imagery, just lots of stuff from around Bendigo Central Victoria, some cool shots around town, sunsets and stuff like that. You know, don't all 80 subscribers go at once because, you know, we don't want to, you know, crash Instagram with the influx of uh, viewers and subscribers and I might get there. Anyway. Let's get at it. So I've got the stain done. Looks all right, a bit patchy, but happy with it. Does not match the color that I wanted it to. Anyway, um, we're gonna run with that. We've got no choice now, so it'll be all right. Anyway, on to sorting out some rocks. So this is what's going in rock-wise. Um, just aquarium grade gravel from uh, Showmaster's brand. We've got like a river sand, so something real natural for his environment, and then um, some small pebbles. I'm gonna mix them up and have rocky, rocky parts. As well as some sandy part, most of it will be sand, so it should look pretty sweet. I'm trying to go for a natural look, could be a mess. Who knows? This is starting to come together. Not bad. So we're gonna give the course of gravel a wash in just a, you know, faster colander. So a plug in just in case any stones fall through there. Like it looks like it won't, but just in case it does, I don't want to flush it down the sink. So that should be pretty sweet and we'll get that undergo. Check out this awesome sticker from the Gudu gang. Like, yeah, mint air birch is unreal. There's a little lure I've been working on as well. Bit of a top water coming up. So we just start off by putting that bit of wash around. And you can see there's already a few little stones in there with loose. So this is probably going to be the best way to do it. So just give it a rinse. So they're the little stones that didn't fit in their, uh, they fit through the little holes in the colander. Um, yeah, so I guess it's best to do it in the plug. I don't really know what would happen if I washed them down the sink, but I can't imagine it'd be great things. The whole time I'm making this video, this little guy's just sitting over here watching. Well, I like to think he's watching, he's probably just waiting for food. I have fed him a bit tonight though. So yeah, he's just chilling out if I put my hand up, as you can see. He's definitely after food. <laughs> He's a cool little fish, I can't wait to get him in there. Give him a bit more room. We've got uh, some of the first lots of stones in, just strained in the colander. I can guarantee you I definitely won't wash that before I uh, eat pasta again. It's looking pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. I've got the first bit of uh, aquascaping, I guess you'd call it in. So down in this corner here, this is where I want some of the bait to be able to hide, so I'm just gonna Maybe I'll glue those two sticks together with some silicon or something like that so they're, you know, a little bit immovable. Um, or I'll rearrange them in some other way, like I haven't really locked anything in yet. But this is where I want like yabbies or bait fish to hide. I might just add a little bit more sort of finer stuff in there. Um, down the other end where that cupboard is, I imagine that'll be the darker end of the tank. So I'll put in a big bit of structure that he can hide under. So he'll have a little bit of sort of his own space down there and then there'll be, you know, battle royale in the middle or whatever ends up happening there. But it's starting to come together. Uh, next is to, you know, keep looking for some structure. I need some bigger rocks because I sort of want to tie that in together with a few more pebbles. I want to hide a little bit more of the backdrop and blend that in. Um, you know, do a little, see if I can make it look a little bit more natural as I go along. Uh, I want to try and put some plants in here too, maybe, you know, but I also don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Um, yeah, so interesting. It's uh, starting to look all right. Time to put some water in, I guess. That'll be the next step and get the filter running. So that way this wood will sink because it does have a tendency to float. So it might take a little while to sink and I'll look for some other wood this week. 
Cool. So I've just been doing a bit of work off camera and bought another bit of spider wood, which I'm soaking at the moment. Get That's getting ready to go in. Started to put the filter in. I actually had to put a little bit of silicon underneath the um, suction cups because I hate it when those things fall off. I've got the intake there. I've got the outlet there. And I'm gonna make the lights out of this little aluminum C channel, which I'll uh, document that as much as I can in my next video. So I want that to sit up above and just be very minimalistic. I'm gonna 3D print some mounts, join two of them together, and the lights will sit up in it. So stay tuned and check out the next one. She'll almost be finished. I reckon another one video and then we'll be uh, releasing him in there in the next one after that.